Okay, so <clears throat> this is one I get asked a lot. Can you transfer a drive just straight from one machine into another? Now, this used to not really be a thing. You could, you could do it sometimes, but uh, it used to be a lot harder than it is today. So what I have here is the, uh, the drive out of my, um, uh, my server. And so what we're doing here is we're transferring a new board chip and RAM into the server. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I am building a new server, but I want the old one to remain functional during that process because this I'm doing a ton of stuff with this server. It's a rather complex build, so I it may be weeks. I might have it done tomorrow, or I might get lazy, and it may be weeks. So what we're going to do here is take this, and you do want to be a little more careful with these M.2s than I'm being here. They're actually annoyingly fragile, electronically at least in my experience. So right now it has this other one in here. So let's take that out. Okay. So pull this one out. And uh, let's set that over there. Okay. And we put the other one in. And it is worth mentioning that in this case, there are not a lot of hardware similarities. This is a, dang it, sorry. This is a 12th, I'm sorry, this is a 9th gen uh, i9 9900K uh, um, sitting on a Asus um, Z390 motherboard. The other one was a um, uh uh, what the heck is this? I don't know why my brain is going mush. Uh, the other one is a 12900K sitting on a Z690 uh, ASRock motherboard. These are very different platforms. Um, there's very little chance that this is going to work merely because of hardware similarities. So I want to show you guys how this works now. So... Okay, let me flip us around and show you what comes up on the screen. Hopefully this works. In theory, if this works the way I believe it will, this is going to be very simple. <laughs> so Windows 10, from what I can tell, does something a little bit differently than older operating systems. So on older versions of Windows, it appeared what would happen, for example, Windows 7, trying to take, let's say you wanted to take a um, a, uh, a drive out of a, I don't know, an i7 2600K and put it in, uh, I don't know, an AMD FX 8350. What would happen was, unless you got really lucky, yeah, see, there it goes. So it stops it right there, and it loads the new devices. They didn't used to do this. What it used to do was it would just force the boot, force the incompatible drivers on the devices. At least that was, uh, you know, if somebody wants to correct me, and correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked, is it would just boot and try to force the incompatible uh, drivers on the devices. It would blue screen and it wouldn't work. Now, sometimes I could go in and I could do it through like safe mode. I could try to uninstall something if I was suspicious as to what was causing the problem. But typically it was it was a hit and miss thing. It was probably less than 50% success rate. Whereas now with Windows 10, and I think, well, no, I'm sorry. I believe this is 11, but I think Windows 10, Windows 10 did the same thing. I believe Windows 10 was the first one that did this. 
Uh, I guess, no, I mean, Windows 8, Windows 8 got a little bit better, but with Windows 10, that was when you saw them really do this thing where it would stop the operating system from booting, see that we have a new set of devices, and load the drivers, the changed drivers, and unload the other ones, and boot. So it usually works now. Okay, so it appears that we have... Okay, it worked. Now, the interesting thing will be whether or not it properly assigns my drives. That'll be a little more interesting. Um, let me see here. So let's grab my phone, because I have, I have my phone with everything uh, listed. So, okay, so if it's correct, C is the one terabyte. That's interesting. It's showing a different size, but whatever. Movies is E. Movies 2 is F. Music is G. Games is H. TV shows is... TV shows 2 is J. Uh, general share is K. And TV shows is L. So it even assigned my drives correctly. That surprises me, actually. I did not expect to do that. Um, I actually expected that I was going to have to do at least a little bit of manual work on this. So I'm actually really thrilled. This means I'm going to be able to probably just drop this in place, call it a day. And, and then I can start working on the other, on the new server and, and get that up and running when I get it up and running. But this will mean that my primary server will be up and running while I'm in that process, which I've never been able to do that before. I've always had to do this as a, as a one and done, get it done, you, you know, one, one, you know, big uh, build. So I'm, I'm pretty thrilled. This actually makes me really happy. So hope you guys find this interesting and it gives you an idea of what happens if you try to transfer a drive. And, and, uh, and I will reiterate, I can't guarantee it won't, but this probably will not work with older versions of Windows. If you try to do this with Windows 7, with Windows XP, Windows 7, or Windows 8, typically, whether or not this works, generally was largely contingent, at least whether it worked easily, whether or not you had to do some really ridiculous stuff, which is outside the purview of this video, um, was really heavily dependent on the similarities between your your uh, your swap overs, which obviously d wouldn't matter if you're trying to swap from one older platform to a newer one. It would only matter if, like, let's say you, I don't know, you put a new motherboard in your computer and it was the same, you know, Z, you know, Z77 to Z77, or even like, you know, Z77 to, to Z68 or or... H67 or something like that. As long as it was a similar platform, sometimes it would work. But going from, say, the Intel platform to the AMD, I didn't do that here, but you should be able to get away with that with Windows 10 now. So I don't want anyone to come on and be like, oh, well, it doesn't work with this, this, or this. This is really for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I hope you guys found this interesting and informative, and thanks for watching the video.